Here's how to evaluate functions in Just four steps. Before we begin, I would love to thank MapleSoft for sponsoring this video. They have an amazing calculator as well as a digital notebook called Maple Learn. Stay tuned and keep watching the video to learn more about them. As I said in my previous video on how to ace math tests, it is extremely important obviously to know the concepts and how they relate to each other. Whenever you have to solve a problem like evaluating functions, it's important to have some sort of game plan so that you know what to do whenever you approach a problem so that you feel like you're not confused and that you have a strategy. So the strategy that you're going to use is our four step song, which if you want to listen to our function song where this video is from, I'll put a link right here. But basically all you have to do is to know these four lines. To find a y value when you're given x, plug in your x value wherever you see x. Order of operations, then left to right. At the end of it all, you'll get your y. Sounds simple enough, but let's try to put this into practice. So first we have this equation right here, which is y equals 3x plus 5. We need to find the value of y when x is 3, no problem. Let's click on this right here. And we can see that our graph is here, but we won't be using our graph, which will automatically give us a solution, but we can use this to check our work later when we're finished. Let's refer to the first step in our game plan. To find a y value when you're given x, plug in your x value wherever you see x. x in this case is referring to the letter x. We see the letter x right here next to the 3, which is the slope. Plug in x equals 3 into this equation. So we have y equals 3 times 3 plus 5. And it already gives us the answer right here, but let's keep going. Order of operations, then left to right. So... With order of operations, we know that it's parentheses, then exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So right here, we see a parentheses, and then whenever, you, whenever there's a number next to a parentheses, that is the same as multiplication. So let us multiply 3 times 3. So we have y equals 9 plus 5. Next, we have... Um, two numbers that are being added so the next step comes in then left to right we just add these numbers left to right and then y equals 14 which matches up with our answer at the end of it all you'll get your y so right here we see that in the line y equals 14 which it graphed right here with this brownish line um, it intersects with our graph at 3 14 because 3 is between 2 and 4 Therefore, we got the correct answer through plugging in the, an x value into a function. Before we get into our next example, a word from today's sponsor. What if I told you that there's a super amazing way that you can take your math notes that helps with understanding and is much better than simple paper? Presenting the Maple Calculator. First, you need to download the Maple Calculator app and go to the camera section, and then you can scan a problem from your algebra notes. Once you scan the problem, you will be directed to a page that gives you all sorts of information about the problem, which is good to help you learn the problem for the first time, and then you click the button to save it to the Maple Cloud. Once we save to the cloud, we can open up Maple Learn, which is connected to the calculator and allows us to import the, the picture of the equation that we took as an actual equation, and we can play around with this and add text, track down the steps of our equation, and we have this really handy graph that we can use to reference our solutions. The links to the calculator and learn will be in the description of this video. I hope you have fun. Now on to the next problem. And we're back with our second problem. Find the value of y when x is 7. This problem looks a little bit more complicated because we have some values and x inside of parentheses, but we have our game plan which can help us with that. So let's refer to our game plan once again. To find a y value when you're given x, plug in your x value wherever you see x. The x value is 7 and we see the letter x right here. We would then put 7 in place of x. So we will do that right now. y equals 5, 7 plus 2, minus 7. Um, this gives us the answer right here, but we're going to ignore that because it's more important to know the process instead of the uh, as much as the actual answer. So we're going to go next. Now we see order of operations, then left to right. So with order of operations, we see that there's a parentheses right here, and whatever is inside the parentheses, we evaluate that first before we do anything. We have y equals 5 
times, what is 7 plus 2? That is 9. And then we do minus 7. We're still on the order of operations step. Because we still have a multiplication to do here. So we have 9 times 5 is 45. The order, order of operations, once again, are addition, oh wait, no, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we have, we have multiplication going on right here, so that will be our next step. y equals uh, 45 minus 7. And then next, we just evaluate left to right. y equals 38. That is our answer. And as we can see, we have this red line, which is graphing our y value. And we see that it is at x equals 7, because it's between 6 and 8, and 38. And it intersects with the graph of our equation. And so we have found the correct answer by plugging in an x value into a function using our game plan.